Hello everyone! In this Inside Kairos video tutorial, we will explore a dedicated hardware panel which is called Kairos Control. It is software customizable, the operator can create his own workspace to have a dedicated function under his fingers. Helge, could you please explain how this panel enhances video production? Yes, Kairos Control, um, like uh, every other GUI, is interconnected using TCP IP network. Um, and I can have as many living in my production as I want. So we are supporting up to eight profiles. So every um, operator can have his own set of macros and cross point assignments using under his fingertips for this production. I'll let you see how we can operate this on the control panel straight. So Helga, we are in front of Kairos control panel right now. Could you please show how to assign different panel zones in order to create different areas? We'll do that. Going into the panel menu um, in my config tab, picking up the panel, and as you can see, I can pick one out of eight profiles. So I'm using profile number one for this example. And my default selection at this moment is that I'm using in the lower bank my scene called main, and in the upper bank I'm using the scene called ME1. So if I want to change this manually, so to speak, uh, I can use this with a context menu, right mouse click, set the delegation, that would be one way how to do it, or select the source up here, where you see there's ME1 at this moment delegated. I want to pick any other of my MEs, let's say main also up here, or even something from my template folder in here. Let's say I want to do main as well. And I put main in here as well and confirm okay. And you can see also in the control panel, what is delegated at this moment. So you see that this main, background A, background B, um, and let's say, and into that bus, I want to put in my layer A. And down here, I want to put in my layer B. Done. So that's A, B side of layer one. That's what I'm reflecting up here. Same what I'm seeing down here at this moment. However, though, saying this is not the thing I want to do, I want to have multiple selections of MEs everywhere all over the place saying, you know what, I keep main here as it is, but actually I want to have my layer A into that control over here, but down here I want to see my layer number two. So I'm picking layer number two, and then you see main layer 1A, main layer two, main background A, main background B. Up here, I want to have now the entire selection of all my MEs, not all of them, but most of them. So. The same principle, like we had this already on cross points, we have this also for the MEs or for the scenes, source options. So in my upper bank, I want to have the selection of saying I want to have ME1, 2, 3, main, everything available in here. So I simply add the MEs I want to see in here. So I say I want to have ME1 in here, and also I want to have ME2 in here, and I want to have also my ME3 in here and I skip the main, I have main down here, but I can have main as well. So now from here on, when I try to do the same delegation again, and I press the button for the delegation of that scene, and from left to right, I see, okay, there are some straight delegations to that bus, but there are also symbols in here like the aux and the delegation, which has a small little arrow marker in the lower right corner, telling me that there are more selections available underneath this button. So hitting this delegation and you see exactly ME1, ME2, ME3, the delegates which I have used uh, in my source options. So saying I want to have my ME1 in here and you see even that green color, doing this again, delegation, they are appearing also in that color the way, what is the scene color on that one? So if I turn this into ME2, now the entire program bus here will turn into blue. And same, of course, when doing this on ME3, this turns into yellow, so telling me default delegations, layer one, layer two, background A, background B. However, these are just delegations for the entire board. On top of this, we have also a wizard for the profile saying, I want to have multiple um, scenes delegated to the same ME bank. Therefore, um, I'm going into the profile and make a right mouse click to the profile New layout. Confirm this. Now I get a pre selection of layouts to my control panel MEs. So that's the one which I'm, what I'm using at this moment. That was a shortcut if I want to have it split in half. 
And that would be a delegation if I want to have it split in three times. Now let's pick this one. So I take it as this, cut left and say create layout. This is how it appears. And now you see in my GUI over here, my deck one, you see this red area over here, which is describing what I'm delegating over here. So here I want to have simply my main scene, set the delegation, I want to have main in here. So now you see already popped up in the control panel. So on my, on my deck number two, and you see highlighting in the GUI is that section up here. I want to have my ME1. Again, set delegation, set this to ME1, confirm, and you see it appears right on my control panel. And next deck, deck number three, highlight red buttons over here. Can use the scene also from here, from that button. So I want to have ME2, pops up in the control panel and do the same for my deck four and put in ME3 in here. The scene called ME3, <laughs> keep that in mind. And now you see also differentiated by color legends. So that is the green color for ME1, the blue color for ME2, yellow for ME3. The way how to change this actually is happening in my scenes menu. As you can see, uh, let me narrow this down. ME1 has this as a scene color green on the panel. See my ME2 has the scene color blue on the panel and ME3 has the scene color yellow on this color represented on the background program bus. Now, by default, you see the button F8 lit, which is the auto function, it's auto delegating the function. So when I'm pressing the button up here, you see also it's picking up the colors for the right ME banks over here or scene banks. Now, with the auto function, regardless which button I'm pressing, it will auto select and auto delegate this area to the according delegation. Now, when I'm pressing, let's say input number one over here, the blue button he highlights on. This is now delegating to that. So when I'm doing a background transition over here, so we'll do the background transition here. Saying I want to press this button up here, so it's auto delegating straight here. And I would do now a cross point, background cross point transition here. And of course the same is true, saying I want to have this section over here. It will pick up the next delegation over here. If I want to have this manually, I simply lose that. Now it would always stick where the button is highlighted, it sticks on that one. So if I want to have it always here, it's like that, always here, like that. So this is how I treat the transition area to the according um, ME bank. It was great, Helga. We will continue discovering Kairos control panel in the next video. Mm -hmm.